I think this play is an amazingly accurate evocation of what it's like to be on the cusp of adulthood. It really resonated with me, that feeling of going off to college, leaving your friends, wondering if really you were leaving them forever, wondering if you were ever going to connect back with that part of your life or if you were just cutting it loose. Nick didn't particularly try to make our job easy when he wrote The Mist Eye. He set it in an underground cave on the seashore where the tide had to come in, where people have to come in wading through water and then they have to make fires and all the rest of it. So to achieve all of that in the studio here at Hampstead is a huge technical challenge and uh, the, the team here have really gone to town and gone the extra mile for it and made an am amazing set that Georgia Lowe has designed and given us all the things that Nick has dreamed of, which I really couldn't have imagined was possible. Uh, my inspiration for designing the Mist Eye was uh, firstly looking at a lot of pictures of caves, specifically caves um, mainly in Cornwall, um, which is where the play's set. It's quite specific in the play um, where entrances, exits, uh, different things that happen throughout this um, evening that they spend in the cave. So there's, um, there's many things that we need in the play. Um, firstly, fire. Fire is really, really important. Water is really, really important. And certain different exits and entrances for the characters to come in and, and exit through. Um, so it was important to get all those right, but also um, make the cave make sense and uh, make it look as real as a cave as possible. This is very much like as naturalistic as possible. I mean, even the lighting mm -hmm. is, you know, is compromised because we want it to be as realistic as possible. So we go overnight in this play. And so there are points in the play where it's very, very dark and very realistic and the water mm -hmm. and the fire and the sand. Is I think we're really lucky to have a set like this, actually have a real fire and actually have you know, a massive yeah. tank of water and it looks so realistic as well. I think the studio is a fantastic place for a play like this because here they are, these three young kids, all 18 years old, coming down into Mother Earth, into a, a subterranean space. And so the audience do the same. The audience come down to our little subterranean cubby hole in the Hampstead Theatre and, and with any luck go through something as intense as the kids in the play themselves.